this video I'm going to show you how I made this fork. Um, go right into it. So I started with a sketch. Um, I did a revolve for the stem. So I just kind of just that overall shape there. I took measurements. Uh, again, I had a model uh, part that I took measurements off of. And just kind of copied them there. I got the main the parts that I thought were the most critical and made assumptions that this was perfectly straight. I don't know if it actually was, but I think it was. Um, and I assumed that that was 45 degrees. It was pretty close. And I know the bearings are 45 degrees where that um, connects, so I think that's a pretty good assumption that that's the case. So after that, I did a revolve. Pretty straightforward. You would go up here and do revolve. And then the selected area, I selected that profile. And then the axis is just a line in the middle. Pretty straightforward. And then after that, I drew something that's kind of nice that I've uh, learned is sometimes it's hard to move forward when you don't know what, what to do next. But if you just keep moving forward, stuff will come out in the end. Uh, I'm not going to say that my fork looks really great, but considering the time I put into it, I think it came out pretty decent. It didn't take me very long. Um, so I just drew the really basic shape here. Uh, to, again, I took measurements of the fork that I had. Getting this angle, this could be not very accurate at all, actually. The only way I could figure out how to measure it was I set it flat on the table, and I measured the distance from the flat to that. And actually, I just realized something. This is not accurate to how I measured it. This should be 90 degrees to that. Um, so, let's see. Got that parallel to that. And it doesn't need to be. Delete that. There we go. Do that there. Put that. And make that perpendicular. And that should not be there. Sometimes if you have a hard time selecting something, like I want to select that, I'll go into my bodies and I'll make it unselectable just for a second so I can get in there. Delete that coincident relationship and connect it there. I think that should be fully defined now. Yep, nothing's moving. Well, that's cool. I did this video because that fixed an error that I had. But yeah, so I measured the vertical distance there and the overall length and that. So I just did an extrude. Um, let me save that because that's an important fix. Um, so I just did that sketch and then we did the extrude and I just double extruded it both ways and I did the... I extruded the whole distance of the outside because I'm just going to cut away stuff after this point. That's the way I found it the easiest. Uh, maybe you can even put in the comments things that would work better. So I did that. Maybe this would be better for you to visualize if I brought this bar back. So we were there. And then I did a sketch, the shape of the fork. And measured all of that off of the model that I have. And didn't extrude, cut, I probably just need to stop there, extrude, cut, so I went, um, the nice thing I like about this is it figures out quickly if you want to cut or to make a new body, I use SolidWorks a lot, I'm very familiar with SolidWorks, and you have to choose extrude or to cut something, and this I just click on the surface and I just drag it through, so if I went here and edit it, I just went through and just clicked the areas for the profile that I wanted to cut, and then I did two sided and I just dragged them. And it initially knew to cut based on um, what I was doing, but if it if I didn't want to cut it, I could have picked one of these others. So then that gives me that general shape. You can see how quickly it starts to take form, even though it looked really ugly to begin with. Yes, this is still ugly, but I didn't think it was too bad. I did a lot of probably a little more work here than I needed to do. Um, I don't even remember what the sketch was. I don't think I used it. 
And then this one, I used, I was going to use this as a profile to revolve around this axis and just cut it because the fork is kind of rounded. But that wouldn't cut exactly how I'd want it to because the fork is tapered. So what I did after this sketch is I made another plane at the same angle. You can see right there it follows in between these lines and goes through the center point here. Um, so I just selected this line here. I drew a line in one of my other sketches and then I just did found out, calculated the degrees that it should be. And then I created a sketch on that plane. So you just click on the plane there. Got us make it selectable but you just click on it and you hit sketch and then I did a projection so in here you can go down to project slash include and I did project and what that did and I did it with the other sketch that I drew there so I made this sketch visible so if you look in here that would be this one so I made it visible and I selected the parts that I wanted and it projected it onto the, that plane there. So now I have it on the angle that I wanted it. And then I did a revolve cut. Keep forgetting to move that. And I just selected that profile here. And the axis I did. Oh, I also drew a center line axis that followed that as well. You can see right here. And that way. It cuts around and gives you this nice angle rounded edge here as opposed to that blocky edge. And then I'm going to hide that sketch and then I just went and did fill it here, and then I fill it there, and then I did some more fillets on the front, just selecting these edges. And then finally, I cut the holes in the bottom here. Just took some measurements. I sketched on the, the plane of the edge. You could have done it on the, the middle plane between them. It doesn't really matter if you're cutting through everything. That's the nice thing I like about this is you can do things different ways, and it doesn't matter if you do it one way. One way is not necessarily better than the other. Sometimes some ways are better just for simplicity and editing in the future but in, most case, in a lot of cases it doesn't matter so I just did that sketch took my measurements and then did an extrude cut where I just selected those areas again and cut it, brought it all the way through and that's how I made the fork that I'm going to use to help me model my bike frame I'm designing Alright, thanks for watching.